Hello students, welcome back to Alchemy Online class. Well kids, today we are going to start with the second chapter that is about, yes, living things and non-living things. You know kids, in this chapter we will learn about what are living things and non-living things. We will also see the difference between living things and non-living things. The last one which we are going to learn in this chapter is we can recognize how living things differ from one another. Clear? Alright kids, do you have any notebook in your hand? Yes, good. Now observe that notebook for 5 minutes. Did you observe? Okay. Now go outside or in your home if you have any flower pot or any plant. Observe that plant for 5 minutes. Did you observe both the things book as well as plant? Now tell me what were all the difference? What were all the difference? Tell me. Good. Plant grow. Whether the book will grow? No. Plant have life. Right? If you won't give water for a few days, the plant will die. Right? Books require water. Books require food. No. And now another thing. Oh, and other, what were the other difference? Yes. Plants breathe. Whether books breathe? No. Plants having the feeling. How if the sunlight is um, if, if sunlight is one side, the plants start growing towards the sunlight. Whether books require any sunlight, books, books will grow? No. Books are static. It does not have any life in it. Right? There are many differences. Books having the feeling what? But plants have feel. How how we uh, how we people when get hurt we get pain. Similarly, plants also. If you cut down it or when you touch it, there were some there were uh, uh, plants. If you touch it, it shrinkle itself. So the plants were also having the feeling. If the climate changes, the some plants started shedding its leaf. Like that, plants can feel. Whereas books have any feeling. If you put any hot water on the books, whether books will cry, it will get pain. No. Clear what I mean to say? Like that, there are very, how we saw the books does not have any life and plants have life. So books is a non-living things. What is book? Non-living things. The thing which does not have any feel, any life, any moment, any growth, then it is called as an non-living things. However, plants have life in it, it grow, it shows its movement, it have feel, it can breathe. Then the plants were called as that living things. Understood my dear? Alright, there are two different types of things. One is natural and the other one is man-made. Now, what are natural? They were all naturally made. Mountains, did you saw whether the human beings made the mountain? No. How about aeroplane car? We human with the technologies we developed, we created the aeroplane, this uh, televisions, mobile, etc. But whereas mountain, sun, moon, etc. were all the natural things. Understood? The things which were all made by nature, made by God, they were all called as the natural things. The things made by Human beings, like where the man has made, then they, they those things were called as a man-made things. Understood what I mean to say? Very good. Whereas all the natural things were not living things. The things which were all having life in it, they can feel, they can uh, move, they can grow, they can breathe, were called as a living things. Where, where all these things were not present, no life, they don't need to breathe, they don't have any feel, those things were called as non-living things. Understood what I said? Did you, uh, did, uh, is it clear for you dear? Alright, now one small activity. Okay, in your surroundings there are many things. Surroundings not only inside your home, outside also you can see. Might be there were any doggy, catty, kitten were right there. You might have seen any car, maybe you will come across any tree, car, like that, bike, etc. So you are surrounded by you, there are many things, your brother, sister, there are many things, human beings were right there. So now 
in the screen you can see there is one small tabular column are you able to see well in the tabular column you can see there were two columns one is for living beings and another one is non living beings right please jot it down i need mean eight eight points eight living things and eight non living things what were all you have absorbed around yourself surroundings uh, which were all surrounded by you okay i will give you 5 minutes complete this thing which will make you clear what were all the living things and what were all the non living things in your in your home if you have furniture whether it is living things or non living things very good that is non living things your mamma is living things or non living things very good that is no living things because your mamma needs food mamma grow right now so like that the mamma is the human beings were the living things please do this activity so that you will understand the living things as well as the non living okay kids now tell me did you fly kite good kite used to fly in the sky right similarly birds also fly in the sky now what is the difference between bird and kite whereas both were flying the kite good kite is made up of paper it does not have life in it whereas birds have life right birds can breathe whether kite can breathe no kids you know in your course book on the very first page of second chapter you can see at the top there is i connect the same activity is shown that i have shown in the video also see in the screen there are few actions breathe feel eat walk grow lay eggs and on the right hand side you can see there were two column one for kite and one for bird the first one is done for a sample uh, is done as a, for you the first one is breathe kite cannot breathe whereas birds can breathe so they have put the tick mark there similarly you have to do for the other things clear what i mean to say so in this chapter my dear what we have learned we learned about the living things and the non living things here is a small video clip for you uh, for living things and non living things please go through the video living world this is mona she loves to play with her doll she combs her hair and dresses her up in pretty clothes she even goes to bed with her doll the doll has eyes ears mouth hands and legs just like mona yet she is so different this is because mona is living and her doll is non living which means not living can you think of some living things other than us cats dogs butterflies ants earthworms birds fish and plants are living things so all animals and plants are living things this means things that are not plants or animals are non living body parts like horns fur hair nails and bones of dead animals are non living too wood from dead trees is non living cars pencils books buildings computers and toys are non living things we will learn about the world of living things in this module unlike non living things all living things breathe both plants and animals breathe to get the life giving gas oxygen breathing takes place in two steps one breathing in and two breathing out during breathing in oxygen from the air is absorbed into the body when breathing out air rich in carbon dioxide is released most animals breathe in and out using their nose or mouth breathing takes place throughout life 
even while sleeping. Living things die if they stop breathing. Did you know? Water animals like fish, oysters, tadpoles and crabs use their gills to breathe. Some animals like snakes and earthworms use their skin to breathe. All living things need food. Animals take in food. Some animals eat food got from plants. Some animals eat other animals. Plants have the special capacity of making their food in their leaves. They use carbon dioxide, water and sunlight and make glucose, the plant food. This is called photosynthesis. Food gives energy to living things and helps them to grow, do work, stay healthy and repair damaged parts. So, living things need food to live. Watch these pictures. Get to know the food habits of some animals. Food helps all living things to grow. A plant grows from a seed into a little sapling. The sapling grows into a plant or a tree. Plants show growth throughout their life. Animals also show growth. Look at your photographs when you were a baby. The clothes and shoes you wore last year would appear small for you now. This is because you have grown taller. You will continue to grow till you are about 18 years. When you fall and get hurt, your skin grows and the wound get healed. Your nails and hair have to be cut regularly because they grow. These pictures show how growth takes place in some animals like the butterfly, frog and hen. All living things move on their own, unlike non-living things that need an external force or fuel to set them in motion. We know that animals move from place to place in search of food or shelter or to escape from their enemies. This is called locomotion. Land animals walk and run using their legs. Birds and insects use their wings to fly. Fish use their fins to swim. Mouse over on the animal pictures to see how they move. Plants do move. We do not see plants moving from place to place like animals. But all plants show growth movements. Plants have roots that move or grow downwards underground in search of food and water. Most plants have buds that open and bloom into flowers. Some plants are sensitive to touch and fold their leaves when touched. All living things produce more of their own kind. This is called reproduction. Animals reproduce by laying eggs or producing young ones. Plants reproduce through seeds or cuttings. It's Makar Sankranti. Rohan is excited as he and all his friends are flying kites today. Rohan's little brother Rohit is sitting on a bench and watching them. Suddenly, Rohit sees a bird nearing Rohan's kite. Panicked, he calls out to Rohan. Rohan, be careful! There's a bird approaching your kite. Your kite will be hurt. My kite will be hurt? <laughs> no way! It's not a living thing to be hurt. But it's moving in the air, just like a bird. That doesn't make it a living thing. What? I'm confused. Rohan stops flying his kite and comes over to sit with Rohit. 
Did you ever see the kite breathing? No. Did you ever see the kite feeling hot or cold? No. Did you ever see the kite eating food or flying or walking on its own? No, never. Did you ever see the kite as a young one who has now grown in size? No. Did you ever see the kite give birth to a young one? <laughs> no. Living things do all these things. They breathe in air to stay alive. They feel hot, cold or pain when hurt. They need food to live and grow. They move from one place to another. They grow in size and give birth to their own kind. And the kite does not do all these things. Right. Therefore, it is a non-living thing. Now I very well know the differences between living and non-living things. Okay kids, did you watch the video? Good. So well, in this chapter, what were all the things we have learned here? Good. We learned about living things and non-living things. Things which have life in it were called living things. Then things which does not have life, they were called as non-living things. Like the living things can breathe, they can feel, they can grow, they, they can show their movements. Whereas non-living things, they cannot do anything. They cannot breathe, they does not have feel in it. Right? This is the major difference between the living things and non-living things. I mean, we also saw about the natural things and the man-made things. The things made by nature were called as in natural things like mountain, sun, moon, etc. Right? The things which were made by human beings were called as in man-made things like aeroplane, buildings, etc. were the man-made things. Clear? As usual, my dear, we, I always used to give you a small task. Today also there is a small task for it's very easy. In the screen you can see there is one column. Circle the living things and cross the non-living things. So below there are some pictures. You can see there are many pictures. Parrot, pigeon, tree, car, insect, ball, water, bottle, uh, sorry, feeding bottle. Like that many uh, pictures you can see, right? Needle. So you need to cross the things. Those were all non-living things. And you have to circle the things which were all the living things will you do it my dear good very good and uh, i believe you understood this chapter on the upcoming chapter we will see about the different features between the characteristic between the living things and non-living things all right and uh, kids one more thing you have to remember on while coming uh, in your in your next session you are supposed to bring uh, your past your old photos as well as your current post photo okay bring your old photo and your current photo if you have any of your childhood photo when you are very small of two three years if you have that photo bring that one also and bring your current photo okay and in next session i will explain you uh, the difference between the living things and the non-living things with the different characteristic. Alright. Bye-bye dear. See you on next video.